and you're putting this all on me Forget it Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back, honey. In today's video, we're just going to be doing a little chatting, okay? I've been missing for a while. You guys have been getting like one video a week here and there. And I'm gonna discuss all of that in today's video. Um, We are going to address the elephant in the room, which is my hair. So I did get a silk press. Um and a cut i did not get a trim i got a cut um because we are letting go of all dead things in 2020 okay we are not um what is the word we are not reviving anything baby we're just we're cutting it period so yeah i did go ahead and cut my hair i am super happy with the cut right now it just looks crazy because um it doesn't really have curls and it just is it's not really cute right now so before the video is like over i'll end up doing something to it but for now i'm going to go ahead and clip it back this is the mys micro brow pencil i like this i like it i can't say i love it but i do like it i use the shade chocolate don't currently have chocolate so i'm gonna go ahead and use torpe and i'm just gonna do my brows really 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 quickly and then i'm gonna come back to you guys and we will chat as i do my makeup okay guys so i'm back because my brows are done okay i made it do what it do was it the right color but we made it do what it do because that's what we do period so on the topic of just letting go of dead things so like i mentioned about my hair i kind of applied that to every single thing in my life in 2020 you know letting go of bad habits letting go of things that were holding me back whether that be a person places or things bad behavior I feel like when you talk about letting go of dead weight, a lot of people think that you're speaking about a person and it doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It can be things that you are doing that is dead or, you know, habits and behaviors that will not allow you to progress. So with that said, I've just been kind of like self-evaluating a lot, like a lot of self-evaluating before we even get to talking because i'm gonna start talking and forget to show y'all the products okay i'm going to be using the sassy um Senna's palette by dose of colors super pretty very neutral palette y'all know me y'all know my style well if you don't know i don't feel like y'all really know me yet but i'm a very simple girl okay I'm, i don't i don't do the crazy eyeshadows y'all get some once in a while but you know mostly here and there mostly there okay so like i was saying i've been doing a lot of like self-evaluating kind of soul searching um because i'm not gonna lie to you guys september was a tough month for me like mentally emotionally and physically like i was just going through it and it was like a feeling that i a well a place that i've never been before like this very uncomfortable you know fake depressive state um i won't call it depression because I, I really don't know what it was i felt like i was just sad i was in my feelings um everything that has happened in 2020 kind of hit me at once um and I just, I really, I sat around the entire September and I did not do a damn thing. And, you know, usually I would like beat myself up for that. Like, Corinthian, you got to get up, you got to do stuff. But I just let myself feel like whatever it was that I was feeling when I woke up that morning for that day, I allowed myself to feel. And that is very 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 important guys very important just allowing yourself to feel what you feel and not feeling bad or beating yourself up for not feeling your best because we're not always going to feel our best like and i do that like i will get on my own ass like girl get it together 
and I'll be very like passive with the things that I'm feeling and honestly guys that's not a good way to be because eventually everything will hit you and you will literally have a breakdown or you will have a month like I had like literally everything hit me at once and baby I was going through it okay I was really it's, it's I can laugh about it now but in the month of September like I did not pick up phone calls um I would like wake up in the morning and I would like do what I had to do as far as like work and I would just sit in the couch and that's what I was feeling so that's what I was doing um I was allowing myself to kind of go through those emotions um because as I stated I am a very passive person with a lot of things like guys a lot of things I'm just so passive it's really bad um and in being passive like i said things oftentimes hit you at once like every single thing hits you at once whatever you were running away from um whatever you didn't address you know just literally everything hits you at once i gave myself the month to just really soak in and tap into me you know like really get tuned really get in tune with corinthian and what corinthian was feeling what corinthian wants how she wants it how she's going to accomplish it and y'all it was like october came yeah baby it was like a switch so i'm just taking this brown color i used this color initially on my lid and now i'm just going to take this dark color right here Ooh, I'm not in focus and I'm going to just put this all over my lid like so seven days a week okay girl I don't know why that is stuck in my head honey I don't know I don't know okay let me throw on my lashes real quick I am going to be wearing these lashes from lavishly dance um i did get these these lashes were sent to me i am their brand ambassador <laughs> um so i'm just gonna pop these on real quick i don't know what style they're in because i love the little thing on the bottom so i will leave them in the description box but i am gonna pop these lashes on really really quickly and then we can finish our little chit chat okay my lashes are on okay honey so we can get back to our chit chat okay Okay, but when I was saying, like, tap into yourself, like, you really need, sometimes you really need time, like, away from everyone and everything to really just tap and, like, figure out what it is that you want, what it is that you need, um, what are your needs mentally, what are your needs physically, um, and how are you going to give yourself those things? Um, I feel like a lot of times we are subconsciously dependent upon other people for happiness and if someone else controls your happiness, they can easily take that away from you. If you are happy from within and you are the core of your happiness, no one can take that away from you. I don't know if you guys can see this because my lights are super bright, but I'm going to be using this Pure Canvas um, Primer from Laura Mercier. I've heard about this. I've never tried it, but I hope it's good, girl, because we need the makeup to be sitting today. We need it to sit. Happiness cannot lie with nobody. Like, of course, like people and things can contribute to your happiness, but your happiness has to be from within, like literally from within. So that's really what I took the month of September to do. Although I was feeling very sad and like mopey, I, I really like tapped into me, tapped into what I wanted and you know just my mental like for so long i would be super super passive with things mentally like super passive with things that will trigger me um if you never identify your triggers and face them head on they will continue to be triggers so one thing that i did in the month of september was i wrote down a list i made a list in my notes i love the iphone notes because you can do so much um but i made this like chart um a three column chart and basically in the chart i wrote down what my triggers are um 
you know, like if I identified a behavior that someone did to me or something, I identified that as a trigger. I figured out why it was triggering me and kind of where that trigger stemmed from and how I was going to overcome that trigger. So that's what I mean by kind of tapping in, figuring out those triggers, facing them head on so they can no longer be that a trigger. Um, I'm going to be using this <laughs> NARS foundation and this is in D3. My biggest goal for that for the month of September was literally to identify my triggers and how I can overcome them because like I said triggers will continue to be triggers until you face them on head until you face them head on and you don't even realize that things are triggers because they've been a part of your life for so long like bad behavior or things that people do to you or you know it makes you upset and you can't be mad if something somebody doesn't know that something is a trigger for you like you have to explain to them like hey i don't like when you do a b and c this is how it makes me feel and that's another thing i've been working on just being more vocal with my feelings because for some reason i don't know where this stems from but I have a very, 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 very hard time expressing myself sometimes. Um, and for people who know me, <laughs> that's gonna sound crazy, but yeah, sometimes I just have a hard time expressing what I feel and why I feel that way. Or not even like what I feel, I just, I have a hard time relaying that message to the next party. Like whether it be like my sister or my boyfriend or like, like my friends. And it's bad because Again, people can't know what's wrong with me unless I tell them, you know? They can't know that they're doing A, B, and C that's making me feel a certain type of way if I don't tell them. So I've just, September was a self, me versus me month, okay? Me really tapping into my best self and whatever that meant for me or whatever it took for me to do that is what I, literally what I was going to do. So I've told you guys um, <laughs> pretty much how I was feeling. I'm gonna tell you guys how I kind of overcame those things. Um, like I told you guys, the chart, just put, writing that chart really helped me because it helped me see like, you know, what my triggers were and how I was literally going to overcome them. And then um, I've also been like, every morning I've been listening to, um, this like meditation slash um affirmation thing it's like a whole album of things and i just pick one and i listen to it in the morning and i really love it because it it's perfect to start your day on like you recite what he's saying and he's always speaking positivity into you you're speaking positivity into yourself because you are repeating these positive affirmations and Another thing I've been doing, hold on, let me get my concealer because I'm here chatting away and I need to finish my makeup. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer and this is in the shade Chestnut. Okay, another thing I've been doing is um, listening to like soothing music. So soothing music meaning like raindrops, um, girl, girl, oh girl. Hold on, <laughs> my eye, gotta fix that, be back. Leave it to me to poke myself in the eye with the concealer wand. But like I was saying, um, I've been listening to like soothing music, whether it be raindrops or um, ocean waves. And that has dramatically helped with like my anxiety when i'm feeling anxious or i'm just feeling like i just have too much going on or i just need a second soothing music really really just helps me kind of regroup and it has been one of my best kept secrets y'all like i've been telling all my friends my family about it like just when you're feeling anxious just Listen to some soothing music because it really helps, you know? I'm going to be using this um, foundation stick by Black Radiance. This is in the shade Espresso. I use, I've used this a couple times on my channel, so you guys have definitely seen this. But I've found that I love being outside. Um, 
one thing that was really contributing to how I was feeling was that I was constantly in the house, like me working from home, me recording YouTube videos from home. Literally everything I was doing was from home. I wasn't going outside. You know, I wasn't socializing much, obviously, because of Corona. And that was dramatically contributing to how I felt. I didn't even realize that that simple things like going to the supermarket, <laughs> um, you know, they just, they make my day normal. So I started back, obviously, doing those normal things. And I just started taking time to be outside um, and just enjoying nature. Like, being outside, something about being outside, it's another one of those coping things. Like, something about being outside just soothes my soul. So, another thing I've been doing is just, like, I will take um, a walk. I do have a park located um, very closely to me. So, I'll take walks to the park and I'll just read different self-help books. That's another thing I've been doing. <laughs> I've been reading a lot more um, just about, like, just self-help. Uh, anything, any type of self-help book, I just sit there and reading them because they really help you tap into yourself and kind of help you figure out what's going on in your mental girl okay and why things are going on in your mental okay i am going to take this morphe m335 brush i'm going to use this to blend out this concealer guys i forgot how much i love this concealer like uh, it's so pretty i have to get it in a lighter color because I always go in with a concealer that's like closest to my skin tone and then I go in with something very bright because I love a bright under eye. Y'all probably hear me say that. If you watch my videos all the time, you definitely hear me say that. I just love the way it looks. But yeah, guys, that's just basically what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Just like tapping into you, um, doing whatever you need to do to feel your best, not depending on other people for your happiness. Um, also, it's okay to limit people's access to you because if somebody is draining your energy or they are making you feel some type of way or they are not respecting boundaries, it is 100% okay to limit that person's access to you because at the end of the day, what I've come to realize in this my 23 years of living is nothing is worth my peace of mind, no matter what it is. Like, if it's your mom, your brother, your sister, it could be family, it could be like a boyfriend, it can be anybody. If you have to limit your people's access to you, go ahead and do that because your mental is the most important thing. And I've realized that like certain people don't respect boundaries. And if I have to keep telling you about my boundaries or if I have to keep reminding you um, I'm just gonna limit your access to me because clearly you don't understand or you don't respect. Another thing, self-sabotage is real. Like we subconsciously sabotage ourselves all the time and it's important to identify when you're doing that so you can stop it. Um, that's another thing that I was doing that I didn't even realize, like I was kind of, I was not even kind of, I was self-sabotaging almost every day and all that does is contribute to a negative mindset, literally. Like, you're literally putting negative, negative things into your head. Like, and you're not, a lot, you're not giving things a chance to happen. I, I'm good for that, okay? Wow, I just made my nose look hella fucking big. Hold on. Let's fix that ASAP. No Rocky, okay, girl? Did get my face together. Y'all saw for a second I was struggling. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this translucent honey powder by Laura Mercier. This has been my favorite powder lately. But like I was saying, um, self-sabotage is a real thing and you wanna identify those behaviors so you can go ahead and stop it. Okay. So just a very basic example of self-sabotaging is like when something is going good for you or before something even gets good, you kind of kill it or you come at it with negativity. And y'all, I was doing that to myself. Literally, I was doing that a lot, like on a daily basis. And I just had to stop because I'm not going to get anywhere with kind of putting things down before they're even up. You know what I mean? And I'm just telling you guys about everything that was going through in the month of 
September because some of you can be somebody out there can be going through the same things and this video could help you in some type of way shape or form but if you are engaging in self-sabotaging behavior guys like stop <laughs> stop okay baby you are worth it you are more than worthy and big things are come for you period as long as you work hard and put in the time energy and effort that you need to put into things period so yeah like i've just i really just tapped in and kind of tried to break down all my bad behaviors of course it's not gonna happen in one day like don't think that you are going to identify these things and they're gonna change like that but in order for them to change you have to work at them daily and that's what i've been doing and it is october now baby and i am in great spirits and i'm just working on myself every single day like 2020 for me is going to be <laughs> i'm going to label it the becoming year because this is the year that i really tapped into me tapped into my deeper self like really 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 tapped in y'all like really really tapped in and i feel like it's the year like i'm officially becoming a woman you know so yeah i'm going to be using this um morphe bronzer and it's in the shade leader i'm gonna use this to add some color back to my face honey add that color back but yeah guys you know if you're going through it or you were doing any of the things that i mentioned um know that it gets better but it's something that you have you have to actively work towards you know and if you have bad behaviors that you want to change baby identify them write them down you know break them down take them apart see how you can be your best self you know see Tap in, baby. Tap in, okay? That's the saying for the video. Tap, tap, tap in. I need to buy a new blush, okay? I promise that I'm going to get a new blush. I promise. I promise. But this blush just looks so good on me. So, I'm going to use this Toby blush in the Sahara Blush One Palette by Juvia's Place. And you know, just smirk a little girl. Smirk a little in. Ah, it's so cute. <laughs> It's so freaking cute. To set my face in place, I'm going to be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Again, if you're not new here, you know the vibe. You know the vibe. Period. You know the vibe. Oof. Feeling very rejuvenated. Very, very much refreshed. Okay? Very much, I can smell my hair. Okay? <laughs> That spray, like I can smell my hair, my hair smells like it's dirty, honey. Like, whoo! I'm taking a makeup wipe, literally a clean makeup wipe, to wipe off my lips, cause there be foundation all over your lips when you're done doing your makeup. Then you go, then you go put on lip gloss, looking crazy with all types of brown stuff in your lip gloss. Uh uh, girl, wipe them lips wipe them lips this is a trick that i do because i just really like how this looks um this is the black radiance foundation stick in chocolate dip um i take this on just a flat brush and i use it as my lip liner and then i'm going to be using this milani gloss you could get this from target pretty much any drugstore i love this it's so pretty and this is in the shade champagne it's like a peachy nude. Ugh. It is just, it's just so pretty, girl. I'm giving y'all very much rich auntie, okay? I'm giving you all the auntie vibes. That's the vibes I like to get, honey. This haircut is pretty short for me, but I'm in love with it. And, and baby, it's just hair. Cut it. Got it. Period. This is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. I hope you enjoyed the little chit chat, the little mental health, you know, tapping into self. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys would like to see more chit chat, get ready with me. Let me know down in the comment section or even give me a topic that I could discuss. It could literally be anything or anything that you guys would want me to talk about. I will definitely come through for y'all because y'all know I always come through, period. Okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you 
so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye